10 30 11 or so and once again been up a couple hours got woken up for the need to take a crap and uh, slept good last night it was kind of, it's getting kind of weird because when I first got here the <coughs> the creek was you know a raging river and a good source of noise for uh, making it easier to sleep and now that it's dried up it's just dead silent out here and you can hear so much more activity hot but uh, you know last ow, last night I just had to tell myself that it's the same noise that was there before it's just I can hear it better now so nothing out there gonna get you but we talked a little bit yesterday about um, a conversation that I had with the people up the way and uh, how it kind of made me uncomfortable it didn't make me uncomfortable because it was a tough or a hard conversation it just made me uncomfortable because it really made me damn those potatoes are hot really kind of made me take a look at you know what am I doing out here and how long am I going to be out here and what's the punchline and what happens next and you know is anything changing and obviously a lot of things need to change but for some reason I think that you know Come on, fire. You don't got to blow your smoke right on me today. Okay, I guess you do. Um, but, no, I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I just met him. I got really stoned with him and was sitting there, and she started diving really deep, which is, you know, normally 100% okay with me. But it was one of those days where I woke up, and I was having a tough day, so... It was hard to, you know, represent or explain what it was I was doing. And the answer that I couldn't give her yesterday was, is I got to the point in my life where nothing really meant anything to me. And I took everything for granted and had missed out on a lot of things. And I came out here to figure out what was important. Um... I don't think I wanted to tell her the whole truth, you know. I didn't want to explain to her that, you know, I got to a point in my life where I was ready to give up. And this is to accomplish nothing more than to figure out if I want to keep going. And I'm, I think I just didn't want to say that out loud to her. saying that to some mountain folk, they understand that. They can respect that. They can appreciate that. Or at the very least, if they laugh in your face, who cares? But I think these people, I felt like I needed to or wanted to impress them. Come up with some real good answer. And the best answer is always the truth. So... up there and hopefully they're still here and she was really concerned yesterday about offending me or getting too personal or you know hurting my feelings and uh, if they're still here I want to make sure that she understands that that didn't happen and you know I just don't want her thinking that you know she overstepped her bounds or something she didn't in any way. So, you know, just that kind of thing. But, we gotta get off this fucking mountain. We gotta get down where some fish are. I've worn out my welcome here. This place is no longer...
no longer going to fill my bill. So, I hope Thomas and Richard come by today. They said it wouldn't be till like Sunday, so today's Sunday, and well, in the world up here, that could be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, who knows, but I really just want them to take me lower down on the river so I can take a peek at some of the more conventional campsites. I have no problem at this point with being, you know, somewhat right off the road and and uh, you know on the river where I can catch some fish so I need to make that a priority nothing I can really do to make it any more of a priority than it is right now but So, one way or another, it's going to be a good day today, whether the boys show up or not. Full as could be. A little bit of blue sky trying to get through, so we should have another decent day today. You know, maybe in the 70s. It's not going to be 100 like it was the other day. Good God, that was hot. But... I dug it. So, anyway, I wish, uh, I hope I can get down off this hill. Because I just need my trip to kind of start over. You know, it's like, hopefully I could heal up here and start working down there. Start working on something and you know, start figuring out. Excuse me, I gotta take a leak. 